That disaster makes you wonder, could that happen here? Many of our bridges are known to be in poor condition right now. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell spoke to the experts tonight. She joins us live. So, Kim, what are they saying? Well, you know, when you take a look at our bridges, this is a state report from MDOT from just under a year ago, and it said that we have a big problem. 228 of our state highway bridges are structurally deficient. Some of them are just along Telegraph, just a short distance from where I am right now. So while the situation in Florida is unique, we definitely have problems. When news broke of the Florida bridge disaster, it captured the attention of Dr. Nabil Grace, the dean of the College of Engineering at Lawrence Technical University. The Florida Department of Transportation recently brought him to Florida to share unrelated research done at Lawrence Tech. While there, officials told him how they were making history in numerous ways with the building of a new bridge. The massive structure was being built parallel to the road. Lift it up, move it 90 degree, and then drop it like this. This is new. The mix itself, the concrete, new, not only new in the United States, but all over the world. Dr. Grace says because it featured so much innovation, finding out what went wrong could be challenging. But one thing is clear, there is no bridge like that one in Michigan. Nonetheless, that does not mean we don't have a reason to be concerned about bridge safety. An MDOT report released last year found more than 200 highway bridges in Michigan are structurally deficient. And as you can see, many of them are in Metro Detroit, 58 are in Wayne County alone. MDOT's head of bridges says while there are issues that need to be fixed on our roads and bridges, if a bridge is unsafe, it will be shut down. If they feel that something is not safe, we don't take any chances. We will we'll close it. We know that it's a pretty major impact to the public to have to do that, but you know, safety is always paramount. Do we have a solution? Yes, we do. What we need, we need more inspection. We need more funding to make our roads and bridges safe. So how often are our bridges inspected? When it comes to state bridges, it's at least once every 24 months. If they're structurally deficient, as some of them on this list are, it's more often to make sure they're safe. In Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.